You are shameless. Felix is your brother-in-law. I didn't... He's the one who harassed me. Me? You're the one who told me Lucas wasn't really entertaining. So you came to me. Hmm. That's nonsense. Lucas is amazing in bed. He can last all night long. How long is he then? Well, although I am happy my wife is pleased with my skills in bed, I think we should keep that between you and me, no? What's wrong, Felix? A big guy like you getting bullied by a little Grace? It's kind of funny, no? Mm -hmm. Lucas, don't treat your brother like that. Marrying a girl like that and insulting your own brother for it? That's impressive. Whatever. It's time for dinner. Oh, Lucas. I can't wait to see your face. What a pair of love birds. Lucas. It seems you have no idea about your wife's skills, her talents for seducing men. Felix, I'm warning you. Stop spreading rumors about my wife. Rumors? I'm not spreading rumors. I've got evidence. What's going on? Oh, father. Nothing much. Um, since we're all here, um, now that everyone's here, I'm gonna let the kitchen know we will start. Since when are you in charge around here, huh? Lucas, what's going on? I think someone needs to put Felix in his place. He put his hands on my wife, and now he's spreading rumors about her. All right then, let's see if what I said is true. Mrs. Skessington, I need an explanation. What? What is this? The premarital health check you had me take before the marriage? Felix, what the hell is going on here? Oh, Lucas, your wife is damn smart, huh? Trying to make the little bastard in there the heir to our family. <laughs> That's not possible. I oh. never... No, no, no. Don't play the victim now, now that it's all gone wrong. Oh, nice try. Nice try, Miss Grace. You don't know anything. Lucas. It's just an accident. Let me see. Because she's one month pregnant, so it can't possibly be yours. You slut! <gasps> Sleeping around and getting pregnant before marrying my son? You expect our family to raise this parasite? Enough! This marriage is unacceptable. The two of you should get a divorce. I understand. Wait, Dad. I disagree. Wait, Dad. I disagree. Have you lost your mind, Lucas? This child is not yours. It is mine. Don't be kidding, Lucas. We all know your little problem down there. Besides, you two just got married yesterday. Yeah, that's all true, but we've met before. Then why didn't you attend the wedding? I didn't go to the wedding because I thought Lucy was my bride. What? Um, <clears throat> I mean, Lucas and I have met before. Hold on, that's impossible, so how? We? You? Uh, we? We? We met in a basement. <gasps> was you? What? 
Lucas. Dad. Dad. The blood of the Anderson family must remain pure. Well, I know you like this woman, but we can't risk acknowledging a child of unknown origins as the heir to the Anderson's family. Dad, believe it or not, that's mine. You can even do a paternity test if you want. Now, enjoy your dinner, but I've got work to do. Grace, can you take me to my room, please? Wait, we haven't cleared up this matter. Sit down and prepare dinner. I believe Lucas has his reasons. What's wrong? You seem occupied. I... That night, was that man really you? You mean the man you met in the alleyway and jumped on... Uh, had an encounter with? Yeah, that was me. That was an accident. Is that the only thing you want to talk about, Grace? Wait. The man from that night... Are you not paralyzed? Grace, what do you think? So, if you're not paralyzed, why the wheelchair? Grace. What else? Are you forgetting what's in here? Yes. Oh, look, what are we going to do? I'm carrying your child. Well, that's up to you. How are you feeling about it? You... You don't want the baby? Well, that's up to you. And as for the dinner, you're welcome to attend, or you can stay here and rest. That's also your choice. But since you don't want the baby, I'll have Lawrence help you click get rid of it tomorrow. But I don't want to get rid of this child. Madam, please wait here for a moment. I will get the forms for you. Thank you, Lawrence. Why can't I keep this baby? Mr. How is she? Mr. Anderson, we are at the hospital. How is she behaving? There's no signs of regret. Miss Anderson seems to be behaving normally, just like usual. Fine. Just make sure everything's taken care of from this side. Grace, are you really so adamant about an abortion? Lucas, are you really going to stay with that woman? I thought you just had an agreement. Miss Brown, you're overstepping. Lucas, am I really not good enough for you? After all these years by your side, you feel nothing? I love you, little one. I want to keep you, but your father... He Number 15. Please proceed to the first consultation room for your appointment. Don't worry. Even if your father doesn't want you, mommy will take good care of you. Where's she gone? If you insist on this, I'm going to have to get another executive secretary. I understand. 
Sir, something's not right. I went to get the paperwork and when I came back, Miss Anderson was gone. What? Did you check the surveillance cameras? Was she taken by someone? We checked and it appears that she left on her own. Her phone is currently turned off too. Mr. Anderson, I think she might be trying to escape. Escape? You'll find her! Oliver, I need your help. What's wrong? Police got in trouble for my little sister. It's that wife of Lucas. I thought you said he doesn't care about her at all. Yeah, Lucas didn't even go to the wedding. Yeah, but the way he's acting now... Well, find her! So, what's with the way he's acting? Never mind. She's just really cross me. Anyways, Oliver, you need to help me make her disappear. Any way possible. You need to help me get her away from Lucas. What should I do? I know what I'm pretty. How about some fun? Oh. Hey, what you think you're doing here? Get your hands off her. It's not your business. Take her. It's late. I have to go. Ooh. Ooh. <clears throat> Lady, seems like you can't wait to throw yourself at me. Sir, I appreciate your help. Please show me some respect. Respect? Why, please? Yes. Sir, please stop joking around. We're not that close. This man looks decent, but seems his mind is a bit clouded. She's kind of unexpected. Anyway, Vicky's request was completed. Sir? Did they find her? They have found her, sir, but... Oh, what? Miss Grace, she... she's with Mr. Brown. Oliver? Should I ask mom? She doesn't even know about the marriage. Grace. Grace? What's going on? Is someone bothering you? No, mom. Is it your father? No. No <laughs> one's bothering me. It's just. I have something to tell you, and I don't know how to start. Grace, you can't talk anything to your mother. It's my fault. If I could maintain my marriage with your father, you wouldn't have led such a hard life. No, Mom. It's not like that. Um, I think I'm starting to like someone. Really? Tell me more. What kind of person is he? He's handsome, in great shape, <laughs> capable, but his personality's a bit peculiar. <laughs> well, it's perfect anyway. <laughs> the most important thing that you like him and he cares about you. Of course, Mom. Actually... I'm... I'm pre... Why have you not paid the hospital fees yet? Doctor, are you sure they should have been paid last week? Pay or leave right now? Can you let her stay just one more night? I will figure out the medical payment and pay the hospital tomorrow, all right? Do you think this hospital is your family's property? You've been behind for almost two weeks. Get out or I'll call security. <laughs> What's going on in here? What's going on in here? He's, uh, 
Um, Mr. Anderson. Is that how you talk to all your patients? Mr. Anderson, they have not paid their hospital fees. Lawrence, please resolve the medical bills and inform Dr. Wong that Dr. Smith is no longer employed here, please. <laughs> Mr. Okay, Mr. Anderson, I did not know. There's no need to explain. You should know, as a doctor, that you don't talk to patients like this under any circumstances. Mr. Anderson, I'm sorry. <laughs> Mr. And... Mm -hmm. Lucas, what are you doing here? What do you think? Grace? Is he the one that you like? Mom! I... Uh... <clears throat> Grace? Is he the one that you like? Mom! I... uh... <clears throat> yes. He is. He's my husband. Are you married? Why you didn't tell me? It was a spur of the moment decision. Did your father force you into this? How, how do you think that? Lucas and I got married because we love each other. Nothing else. Ma'am, it's my fault. Grace was worried that, given my condition, you might be concerned. It's fine. As long as you love each other. Grace, you're mom's daughter. You're everything to me. Mom. Well, it's quite late. You both should head back. I need some rest too. <laughs> What's wrong? Lucas, thank you for today. And I want to keep the child. I'll raise it on my own. I promise I won't be burdened on you. What makes you think I don't want the baby? But I thought you... Look, there's no reason to turn to another man to raise your child. What are you talking about? You've been investigating me. No calls? No texts. You just disappear from the hospital. Am I not supposed to look for you? That's... Well, that's because I was... Kidnapped. Kidnapped by Oliver? Grace, you should know the Browns and the Andersons have a very, very close partnership. God, he looks so hot. <clears throat> no, it's not like that. He saved me. He what? He saved me, but he asked for something in return. What? Me. He saved me, but he asked for something in return. What? Me. And you agreed? Oh, no. I'll stay faithful to the end of the contract. I promise. So? What are you waiting for? Wouldn't they care? paralyzed husband get on his own, would you? You're not pa- Oh. So, allow me? Are you flirting with me? Don't be getting any ideas. <clears throat> You're a very heavy patient, Mr. Anderson. Don't put all your weight on me, I won't be able to carry you. As you can see, my 
brother has been hypnotized by that wretched woman. So why getting upset? Lucas will soon realize I'm the one most suitable for him. As long as that bitch disappears. <sighs> Miss Grace. Allow me. It's usually my position anyways to... Uh... <laughs> Lucas? Who's this? He didn't tell you? I'm Victoria. Lucas's girl. This is Victoria Brown. She's from the Brown family and she works at the Anderson Corporation as a secretary. Actually, what are you doing here? You know I don't like to bring work home. Lucas, I'm not just your secretary. We've known each other since we were kids. Is there a problem with me coming to your home? That's right. I invited Victoria. Ah, uh, that would make sense. Oh, Victoria, it's been such a long time. I've missed you so much. <laughs> I know. It's all Lucas's fault. He's become so distant since he got married. It's all Zach's decision. If it weren't for him, you know, you and him 